There are a lot of misconceptions out there about the best way to protect your skin from sun damage. But which ones are fact and which ones are fiction? I'm Dr. John Molitoris from Penn Medicine, and if you think you know the truth about sun protection, think again. When we talk about sun damage, we're really talking about ultraviolet rays and how they harm your body. These rays, commonly called UVA and UVB rays, are what cause our skin to tan or burn and can play a role in causing skin cancer. The most common, but also the most preventable, form of cancer. Let's dive in to learn the truth about the sun and your skin. Myth number one, you can't get sunburn on a cloudy day. This is fiction. Contrary to popular belief, you're just as likely to get sunburn when it's overcast. About 80% of UV rays can penetrate the clouds, and in certain cases, those rays can be stronger on cloudy days due to reflection off of the clouds. So the next time you check the weather forecast, don't forget to look at the part that highlights the UV index. You've probably never paid attention to it, but when it comes to protecting your skin, it's the most important piece of information you'll need when preparing for your day. Myth number two. In sunscreens, higher SPF isn't always better. This one is fact. SPF, or sun protection factor, is a number that tells you how well your sunscreen can protect your skin from ultraviolet rays. A lot of people think the SPF number directly correlates with the level of protection it provides. For example, SPF 60 is twice as effective as SPF 30. In reality, there's no clinical evidence that sunscreen gives any additional benefit once you go over SPF 50. What is more important is how often you reapply your sunscreen. We recommend that for anything SPF 30 and below, you should reapply every 30 minutes. For anything above SPF 30, you'll want to re-up every two hours in order to stay protected. Myth number three, if you don't usually burn, you don't need sun protection. This is fiction. And even though it may sound obvious, this one is really important. Any change in your skin tone due to the sun is a sign of damage. The reason your skin changes color is that your body is producing more melanin to try to protect you from harmful UV rays that can cause skin damage and skin cancer. But that doesn't mean that individuals with darker skin can skip the sunscreen. Having a darker pigmentation does provide up to an equivalent of an SPF of four, but it's not nearly enough protection to prevent cancer. UVA rays, which can cause premature aging and skin cancer, affect all skin types the same, regardless of color. So whether you're dark-skinned or light-skinned, cover up or wear sunscreen. No excuses. The bottom line is, sun damage is serious, and it's absolutely critical that you protect yourself every time your skin is exposed to the sun. So next time you head out the door, make sure to grab a bottle of sunscreen, and don't forget to hit commonly missed areas like your ears, lips, and the tops of your feet. For more information on how to protect your skin from sun damage, talk to your primary care doctor. To learn more about Penn Primary Care, visit our website and stay healthy.